I don't think any other director gives me the kind of freedom that Sanjay gives. I mean, he's like, um, he has this wonderful approach with me where he directs the film to me. And then he uh, asks me how I'm looking at the film. What are the visuals that are coming to what is the What is the world that's coming into my mind? And he really absorbs that and then um, uh, he tells what he likes, he tells what he doesn't like. We kind of, we spend a lot of time and, and the, we spend a lot of time just talking about the film, uh, not so much in the initial stages, uh, in a very concretely uh, scene specific way that ye scene is quite short karenge, this scene will shoot like this. We don't really, we're not very specific like that. Sanjay's conversations, conversations are a lot of times very abstract. And he talks a lot about his characters and uh, he talks a lot about his music. He, what he tries to do is he tries to impart uh, what is in his mind as far as the film is concerned, what is the kind of world that he's seeing, what are, the, what, what is it, what are his, his characters like, what, do they, what kind of spaces do they live in, what is the kind of aura of the characters. So he gives a lot of importance to these, uh, uh, these qualities. So uh, by the time he takes you through this process, I mean I start seeing a film based on how he's narrating, how he's talking to me about the characters and the spaces they are in. So I start seeing a film in my mind and then what I do is I try to uh, uh, show him what is coming on my mind and that I try to do through uh, paintings, through uh, still photographs, through the photography that I do, uh, films, all kinds of references. And then he kind of keeps saying that, you know, this I like, this I don't like. Maybe this is something which is interesting me. So in this process, some kind of a palette comes out. That what is the look of the film going to be like? That, that what kind of, he responds to a frame, like I would probably, and that doesn't have to be specifically to do with a particular scene. Or for the matter, you know, but for instance, we travel, we, we travel a lot during Bali Rao and, and I, was carrying my camera all the time. So I would randomly shoot pictures and uh, a lot of times the pictures are not uh, pertaining to any particular situation in the film. It's just something randomly candidly I've shot and he would uh, look at all those pictures in the evening while having dinner, like look at it and he's like, you know, I really like this frame and I like the way you put this, uh, in, I like this composition a lot. See, this light is wonderful over here. So, you know, he gives a lot of pointers to what he's liking and the way he's going. So I keep a very careful note of um, all those pointers and based on that I create a, a what I call a lookbook for him which is like a, a docket full of scene by scene uh, um, look reference and uh, so we start sharing and we start talking about that and he said okay like for instance if Shahu's Darbar is coming if you're talking about Shahu's Darbar uh, so I would have a lot of photographs, I would have a lot of paintings, uh, someone still grabbed from a particular film and he would just look at it and, uh, and and we would talk and something would come out. And So by the time we go for the shoot, we have some kind of an idea uh, of what we are doing. Uh, then once the set starts building, it's once the sets are being built, Sanjay wants absolute collaboration at that stage as well. So like uh, uh, every day while the set is being built, both of us are there in the set, we just sit and watch the set being built. And as the set is built, we you know, start seeing things differently because you know, the things are just happening in front of you and then you, you, whatever you had thought, sometimes it changes and you know, you uh, slowly, slowly it starts taking a different kind of a shape. So uh, all this put together, you, you have something that, you know, why, before you reach the shoot. At shoot, again, everything changes because now <laughs> we have the set. But that's the whole fun of working with Sanjay. It's so dynamic, the process is so dynamic. And uh, we were just like, just before taking the shot, he said, okay, what if we approach this in this way? And he would come up with something completely different. And um, I don't mind it because everything that he comes out with is better than the previous one. So it's just getting better and better. So it's, it's great fun. It's like, it's, it's, so the collaboration is, uh, it's very uh, enriching. There's a lot of um, positivity in that because 
continuously you feel that you're you know you you're creating something that matters there is no way that you know there's no feeling that sometimes on other films you get that okay it doesn't matter we're just doing it for you know we're like you know there's somebody who's like a true artist who's standing by you uh, who you know i i i know he'll just stand by me if i say that okay you know i shot something yesterday but i didn't like it can we do it again and he's a kind of a producer director who'll stand by you and say okay if that's better we'll we'll do it so that's a great atmosphere to be in so i can't think of a better collaboration really uh, and we we keep having fun all the time we keep doing masti on the set all the time so it's not like what people imagine they're doing very serious cinema we are like cracking up dirty jokes all the time and like so it's <laughs> if we were successfully able to recreate the bajirao era because that's something that i have not seen that's something that no one has seen so what you re- rely on is uh, of course historical references which uh, in this case there isn't many i mean the um, the uh, the peshwas they were not very very uh, particular about uh, recording history in a very graphic way so there's not much of visual reference that's available Mm. little bit in the museums little bit uh, but i mean the rest of it is uh, our imagination uh, and uh, a lot i think is uh, also just is our imagination of what the world was like mm-hmm. uh, we uh, you know when you uh, the architecture we really followed uh, the mm, i mean from what's available if you do you try if you travel in in interiors of maharashtra places like satara and um, bhor and uh, kolhapur there are still a lot of these old wadas which are there so once you see them once you uh, uh, we we kind of try to stick to the architecture as closely as possible and then you see how light plays in those places i've traveled over there i've seen how it plays uh, how light plays over there and and we tried to recreate that the rest of it is our imagination no that's not right we need, uh, we shot for 207 217 days the shooting uh, was spread over a little over a year okay a little over a year i october to october we shot uh so yeah i mean i think a film of this scale requires that kind of time i think we were short of time i th- i wish we had a little more time to shoot we could have shot uh, stuff a little better and bigger we just ran out of time see i don't know what to uh, uh, make of this awards um i don't know really uh, it feels very nice when you get an award um more than myself it's uh, it's you know what when you get an award what uh, it means to your near and dear ones your family your friends i mean they're very proud and that's 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 fantastic it's a beautiful feeling also to get a certain recognition from the industry it's really nice but i don't know uh, how to take it because you know it's not that when you say that okay this is the best short film of the year i don't know how one says that also it's a work of art and and all of us are doing different films and uh, i don't know how you can compare between a bajirao mastani which is a kind of a film with a kind of cinematography and uh, say uh, bombay velvet which is a different film with a uh, with a different style and and in my opinion uh, bombay velvet is a beautifully shot film uh, so is masan so is tanuvej um, manu so they all such nicely shot films and uh, if you ask me to be a jury and say okay pick which is the best one i would find it really difficult so i don't know what to think of that uh, and you know i don't think one does films with the intention of winning awards because uh, the true award is i think being remembered by people for your work and the work itself being remembered because uh, honestly you know i've seen that that if i win five awards this year uh, next year if you go and ask somebody that who had won 
this award for this film. I don't think people really remember that. I don't think that uh, really mattered. But if I am, if I make a film that is uh, worth remembering, that's a far bigger award. I'm, I'm very happy that uh, the people still remember Chakde, and uh, people remember Guzarish, and uh, for both these films, I did win awards. But uh, people equally remember a film like Iqbal or or a film like Door, for which I didn't win any award. But uh, in the long run, I don't know how much that matters. Uh, since we are talking about awards, I would like to use the opportunity to say that uh, the way the awards, cere the, the ceremonies are, um, the way the technicians are treated over there, it's, uh, that leaves a lot to be desired. I mean, it's, uh, I think that's also a reason that why I'm not hugely excited. I mean, the, I, I wish that it was, the technical awards were given with a little more, uh, you know, I wouldn't say respect, it's not given distressfully, but uh, uh, I mean, you know, I think technicians play a very, very major role in producing a film. and. Uh, I wish the way the awards are given it just you know it should have a little more uh, recognition it should have a little more it should be positioned in a different way I mean, what do I have to take about this I mean it's like uh, I mean comparison hoga to hoga <laughs> what do you do <laughs> No, I haven't seen uh, uh, airlift, and uh, I don't know whether there should be any comparison or not. So probably it's uh, one can talk about it once uh, airlift is out. It's uh, and no, I mean I don't know. Uh, the premise is probably somewhat similar, but then I mean I'm sure because uh, Priya has shot the film and. She's a very interesting cinematographer. I, she's a good friend of mine, and I'm sure it'll be quite uh, different and quite exciting because she has a completely different take on things, and I'm quite certain it'll be great. I'm doing a film. Uh, directed by Sanjay Gupta called Kabil, mm -hmm. which has got Rithik Roshan in it. So that we are starting in Feb. Shuddhi, I was supposed to do a uh, long time back, but uh, the project didn't take off oh, at that point okay. of time. Yeah. And uh, then I got busy with Baji Rao. I don't know what's happening with Shuddhi. I don't even know if Shuddhi is happening or not. If, if it does happen and if Karan asked me to shoot it, I'd love to shoot it. Because it's a great script. I think it, it can be a very exciting film. Dhoom 4, we don't know as yet. Um, I mean, I think Victor has to write it first and then there's some time, I'm sure. My take on it is that uh, I think the institute really, really uh, requires to be given a, an, uh, a deemed university status. That it requires that uh, autonomy so that there is no uh, political interference. Because an art institute uh, like FTI is uh, is very rare. It's a very special uh, thing, and it should be treated like that. Uh, FTI has contributed uh, incredibly, uh, in my opinion, to the industry, and uh, I wish there's support from every quarter on that. I mean, if you see that uh, uh, the reason that FTI was built for that, you know, we produce. Uh, quality technicians uh, who would make films which are, um, you know, which uh, the quality of the films can uh, withstand the pressure that comes from, say, Hollywood. I mean, like you see, look at other countries. Uh, Europe, there's practically no uh, cinema apart from Hollywood. I don't think any local cinema happens over there. In in India, of course, the uh, Indian cinema is as strong as uh, the Hollywood films and that's one of the reasons is that the, the technical standard of our cinema is quite high and I, I, 
I'm very proud to say that the, the Film and Television Institute of India has contributed largely to that. I mean, to produce a certain quality of technicians. I personally uh, am not in a position to say if Gajendra Johan uh, is the right person or not. Actually, uh, in my opinion, uh, it's not uh, the appointment of Gajendra Johan, that's not really what I think is the most important issue. I think the most important issue is that this, the institute needs to be given a deemed university status. I mean, it'll, it'll sort out a lot of things. It'll, uh, I mean, there'll be a lot of, um, there'll be no political interference, like situations like this. I mean, I think, I think that the institute really deserves. I'm so far away from where I want to go. As a, as a director of photography. Um, I'm not even anywhere close to where I want to go. So, yeah, well, my first <laughs> attempt is to get somewhere close to that. I really want to be a good DOP. So, I haven't had the chance to think about anything else, really. I'm very excited about what I'm doing. I'm very, 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 very bad. And I'm really, uh, really, I mean, I'm somewhat now understanding what the job of a cinematographer is and what the responsibilities are and like so I'm really really enjoying myself and I, I wish to do a lot more work as a cinematographer uh, direction uh, I don't know yet um, sometimes the idea of uh, directing a film comes out of um, frustration and uh, the lack of control that you have over a project as a director of photography I mean the director controls everything and sometimes you Wish you had more control. So director, I to change I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes you just may want to make. Say, Shit, yeah, I want to make my own film. Yeah. Uh, I mean that you once in a while you feel like that, but that's I think more of a instantaneous reaction. That uh, that's more reactionary, really. I think one has one should make a film when one really, really wants to make a film. I mean, uh, I'm uh, creatively very satisfying, satisfied being a director of photography at the time. For, for the time being, but uh, yeah, maybe sure. I, I have a couple of um, things that I want to talk about. I'd, sure, I think I'd love to direct one day, but not too soon. Right now, I'm like really, really, yeah. really happy being in DOP. <laughs> For more news and gossips, don't forget to subscribe to Bollywood Helpline.